Uh, this is Shirley, um, property manager. Just wanted to do a quick video for you. Another tip for landlords, newbie landlords who are getting into the business and also to leasing agents who are doing the move-ins or new property managers. I just moved in the tenants for the condo that I did that first video on for you guys. And I wanted to just give you a couple of tips um, what we do in property management. First of all, this is when you collect the security deposit. You do not collect the security deposit before in the state of Georgia. Other states may be different, but in the state of Georgia, you cannot collect the deposit slip, I mean deposit, security deposit, until, it's my cat wanting to get in the picture, until the people have moved in and done the move-in inspection and signed off on it and signed the lease. That's when you can collect the security deposit, not before. And also, you have everybody sign everything. And of course, the owner for this particular property is out of state. So I come back and then I have to do the paperwork to send him everything to get him to sign. But as a, his property manager, I can go ahead and sign on it. But I always get him to sign it also. That is just good business. Um, the move-in inspection report is, per the lease, it says that the tenants are taking the property as is, that they, it tells them what little maintenance they do to it, like they have to change the light bulbs, and uh, if they damage something, then they have to repair it themselves or, or get it fixed, um, and it also goes in to tell what they, uh, what the landlord's going to do. And for the main, you know, if the air conditioner goes out or the water heater goes out, of course the owner does that. But the move-in inspection should not take long at all. Now this was great because I had these two girls and just me. When another agent brings a tenant, they are getting so involved in it that they show up for the uh, inspection. They ask questions. They go around and inspect the place and see all these little dings and stuff. That's normal wear and tear, but they make it long and drawn out. So the tip is do not have anybody else be at your inspection except the move-in inspection, except the two tenants or one or how many there are, and you. Nobody else. Don't allow it. If they want to bring their friends, their family, they're going to have to pay you because it's going to take longer. And I do, I do charge. If they have their mothers come in from out of town and they want to be there, their agent wants to be there, they have to pay me $250 to do that move-in inspection. Because something that takes 35 minutes to do suddenly becomes up to two hours. So you've got to you know, really get a hold of on that. That is a big tip. And besides, with referrals, when you have a referral agent, the or the leasing agent, the selling agents who have become leasing agents now call themselves um, the tenant's agent. If they're representing the tenant, well, it, it doesn't work that way. They may have an agreement that way, and that's how they want to work. That's fine, but they're not part of the lease. They're not part of the management, so they have nothing to do with it, and they cause so much trouble. So you don't want them there. Um, you just have to really be firm with them at the beginning, which I'm doing now. I was trying to be too nice. I was even paying them more of a referral fee. To be a referral agent, I would tell them, it's simple. You just show it and then pass your people on to me, and I do everything else. But they still email me, they still want to know this, they want to know that. I have to tell them, you're, these people aren't buying this home, this is a rental home. It's in great condition, like I did on the last one, I allow the tenants to even do a accent wall for painting. Our places are kept up good, but just really, I guess you won't know it until you've made so many mistakes by allowing people to show up for the move it inspection that it will drive you nuts so then you won't do it but I'm just trying to give you a little tip ahead of time really just treat it like a business 
and say the yes, move-in inspection is only for the two tenants who are going to be living in the home or one, whoever it is, and me as the property manager. Or I could be a leasing agent who's also doing the move-in inspection for a seller if they have the listing. And that works out so much better. I mean, this was so nice. It really was. And that's what you want to do. You want to have good clients. And you're building a relationship with your tenants anyway. You want them to rely on you when they need something, when they have an issue. So if they have their own agent there, they're going to go to their agent, then their agent's going to call you, and back and forth again. And you don't need all that. So please take this as a serious big tip for property management. And this is Shirley Farrington and my cat, and I'm a property manager. Been doing this for 20 years in the Atlanta area, and I just love doing these little tips for you guys and gals. Thanks.